how to recognize if a friend's email has been hacked and if you are being phished. In other words, if that hacker is sending emails from your friend, you receive one of them, and basically it's a ploy to get your email as well. Okay, so what's the difference, first of all, between spam, you know, just stuff that you normally wouldn't want, or maybe you didn't even sign up for something. What's the difference between that and phishing? Well, spam, as I said, is where you're just receiving basically junk mail by email, right? Most of the time your spam filter is going to catch that, right? Now, phishing does something completely different. Phishing uses psychology to acquire emails. All right, so let me give you an example here, and I'll just read this description right here. Phishing attacks use email or malicious websites uh, to collect personal and financial information or to infect your machine with malware and viruses. Someone's trying to get you to give you their email and your email password or your bank account and your bank account password or your Facebook username and your Facebook password. Imagine what people can do with that information. It's not a good thing, okay? So here's how to recognize a phishing scam. Here's an email from my friend. So I'm familiar with them. I get emails from them. They definitely go to my primary Gmail box. So there's really no issue. Uh, and it says something that looks kind of legitimate. It says, hello, I shared a document with you. Although it does sound a little impersonal. I mean, this is someone that I know. Uh, normally they would write to me with a tone that goes something like, how's it going? How's your family? Guess what? I have a document to share with you. So that's a flag right there, that the message somehow doesn't really jive with my relationship with this person. That's the first flag. The second one is, I see a link here. Okay, go to HTTPS. Of course, it's going to say S. This is secure, and I'm holding up quotes. You know, somebody wants me to think that this... URL is secure, so that's good, okay? And it's also Dropbox, something that I use all the time, all right? So it looks good, maybe a green light here, but if I mouse over the URL and I look at the bottom of my, uh, you know, browser window where you can see URLs, you know, what, what are you mousing over? I see that this URL is clearly not dropbox.com and it's a URL that I've never heard of. So what is this URL? If I click on this link, it's gonna open up a window and what do we have here? It looks like Google Drive, documents, sheets, slides. It looks pretty legitimate, actually. And it's saying to view to share document, you are required to log in with your email address below. Okay, great. Looks legitimate to me. I click on Gmail and I enter my Gmail address, my Gmail password. I click sign in and I am a dead duck because I did not log into any Google product. What I did was I passed my Gmail email address and my Gmail password to the hacker. They've collected it because clearly this is a website that they've developed for that specific purpose. It's basically an opt-in page, but a really evil opt-in page.